everyone, my name is Monica and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to sew this basic spaghetti strap dress. I love skater dresses, obviously I've made a number of them here on my channel, but it dawned on me I hadn't done a spaghetti strap one yet, so I figured with the hot summer weather coming up, it'd be the perfect time to make one. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial, and if you do, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more, and let's go ahead and get sewing. To make this dress, I used a little less than two yards of a stretch knit fabric, but the longer you want the dress to be, the more you'll need. You'll also need about four yards of quarter inch wide double fold bias tape and a fitted spaghetti strap tank top to use as a template. Begin by folding the longest side of your fabric in half and smoothing it out. Measure your waist where you want the waist of the dress to be. Mine is 32 inches. We're making a half circle skirt, so we have to do a couple of easy calculations to cut it out. First, add one inch to your measurement to add seam allowance for when we sew the skirt together. I got 33 inches. Next, divide your number by 3.14. I got about 10.5. Finally, subtract a half inch from your number to build in seam allowance for sewing the skirt to the bodice. I got 10 inches total. Go to the square corner where the fabric is folded and measure across the fold to make a mark at the number you just calculated. So my mark is at about 10 inches. Swivel the tape measure down and make another mark at that number and then continue measuring from the corner and making more marks to create a quarter circle shape, which you'll connect and cut out to create the waist of the skirt. Decide how long you want the skirt to be and add a half inch for seam allowance. I wanted a 22 and a half inch length, so I got 23 inches. Measure from the waist and make a mark at that number, so mine is at 23 inches. Move the tape measure down the curve and make another mark at that number, and continue measuring down the waist and making marks, which again you'll connect and cut out to create the skirt's bottom edge. When you unfold the fabric, you'll have the skirt cut out, but after holding it around my waist, I decided to trim a couple inches off the length. Next, we'll be wrapping bias tape around the bottom edge to add a nice detail, so I've zoomed in closer here. Grab your bias tape and unfold it just once. Lay it down at the beginning of the curved bottom edge and place the fabric inside it. Fold it back in half so you've captured the raw edge between the bias tape and pin it together. Wrap the next couple inches around the skirt smoothing it out with your finger as you go so it lays neatly around the curved edge and pin it down. Repeat the process of wrapping and smoothing it around the fabric, pinning frequently. Although this takes a few minutes, the detail is worth it and my best tip is to use good strong pins which are a lot easier to push through the bias tape. When you're done pinning, sew along the bias tape to secure it using a straight stitch and making sure you're sewing both sides of the bias tape together. Stop sewing as you remove each pin so you don't risk having a pin or needle go through your hand. Fold the skirt in half with the correct sides facing together and pin and sew along the straight edge using a half inch seam allowance for all the dress's seams. Because we're sewing on stretch fabric rather than bias tape now, use a ballpoint needle and sew with either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch so the seams will be able to stretch with the dress because a regular straight stitch would break when stretched. Set the skirt aside, grab your tank top, and fold the straps down out of the way. Find the point on the tank top where you want the bodice to end and the skirt to start, and fold the portion below that point up so it looks like a crop top. Then fold it in half down the center, and this is your bodice template. 
Fold a portion of your fabric over, making sure it will stretch in the direction the arrows are going so the dress will stretch around you once it's done. Lay the tank top onto the fold and pin it down. I decided to lower the neckline just a bit, although this is optional. Cut right along the shape of the neckline and armhole, and then cut a half inch larger than the side and bottom edge to add seam allowance. When you remove the tank top and unfold your fabric, you'll have your front bodice piece cut out. Fold it back in half, fold a piece of your fabric over, and pin the bodice onto the fold of the fabric. Cut along the bottom edge, side, and armhole, but instead of cutting along the neckline, cut a straight line back to the fold of the fabric. When you remove the front piece, this is what the back should look like. We'll be wrapping bias tape around the armholes and front neckline, but because the bias tape doesn't stretch, we have to leave the back neckline without it so we can still get the dress on and off. Lay the back bodice piece wrong side up and fold the top edge over a quarter inch once, then fold it again another quarter inch and pin it into place. Repeat along the whole edge and sew to secure the hem with a zigzag stitch. Lay the front bodice piece out and unfold the bias tape once. Place it starting at the curve of the neckline and lay the fabric inside it. Fold it in half, pin it down, and wrap the next section around the neckline, smoothing out each section as you go so it lays neatly around the curve. Sew with a straight stitch and trim the edges so they're even with the fabric. Lay both bodice pieces with the necklines facing each other and wrap the bias tape around one armhole, starting at the bottom and working your way up. To make the spaghetti strap, measure out however long you want it to be, my straps are 12 inches, and then wrap the bias tape down the opposite armhole starting at that point. I had to rotate the pieces to work on the opposite side, where you'll again wrap the bias tape up one armhole, measure out the strap, and wrap it down the opposite armhole. Sew with a straight stitch across the bias tape on both sides, then trim the edges down. Lay the pieces with the correct sides facing together, and pin and sew the sides with a stretch or zigzag stitch. Turn it right side out and measure to find the center of the waist. Use straight pins to mark this center point both on the front and back sides. Lay the skirt inside out with the seam on one side and use a straight pin to mark the opposite side. Rotate it so the seam is now on the center back and the pin is on top of it and mark the new sides with pins too. Lay the bodice upside down so the front side is facing up and slide it neck first into the skirt so the correct sides of the fabrics are facing and the waists line up. Match up the bodice's side seam to the pin on the side of the skirt and pin them together, and match up and pin the opposite sides too. Match up and pin the center fronts together, and match up the center back of the bodice and seam on the skirt and pin them together. Pin frequently around the rest of the waist and sew with a stretch or zigzag stitch to complete the dress. Thanks for watching and have fun wearing your new creation. There's a bug. I said that kind of weird. I didn't get sewing. Ah, oh, dang it, that was really good until the fly.